Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you. Let's examine the distribution of Starbucks in ArcGIS Online. Now, Maps tools and applications in ArcGIS Online continue to expand, affording exciting new opportunities for teaching and learning. One of the new maps highlights the new capability of generating heat maps by showing the distribution of Starbucks coffee locations. The map is quick to load, but contains 18,680 Starbucks around the world. The points are grouped at a small scale for analyzing regional and continental patterns, and at a large scale for analyzing patterns within a metropolitan area. Examine this map via this link. Guiding students through inquiry using some of the following questions followed by investigations. Does the pattern of Starbucks in Manhattan surprise you? What are some of the reasons for the spatial pattern? How does the number and pattern compare to other boroughs of New York City, to your own city, and to other cities around the world? How do these factors and the spatial pattern compare to other coffee-oriented businesses, and to other food-related businesses, and to non-food businesses? There are just so many things you can do with this map alone. And remember, this is just one of hundreds of maps that you can access inside ArcGIS Online. Make the two heat maps associated with the Starbucks locations at the two different scales visible. A heat map is another way to visualize data, creating a density surface of the points, with brighter oranges and yellows indicating a higher density, and greens and blues indicating a lower density. What are the differences between the heat maps at the two different scales? How does the heat map help you understand the clustering of the Starbucks locations? Starting in March 2015, you can now easily create heat maps of any point data using ArcGIS Online. This map isn't a fabrication created for educational use. Indeed, Starbucks uses ESRI GIS solutions at many levels and for many reasons, from managing its suppliers to packaging operations to selecting optimal retail outlet sites. During the unit where you and your students are exploring the map, you could show this video from the ESRI user conference where Starbucks GIS analysts explain why and how they use ESRI GIS technology to make their businesses more efficient and sustainable. Now here's John Calkins of uh, ESRI introducing the three GIS analysts for Starbucks. They do a really nice job of explaining why and how they use GIS at Starbucks, what their business mission is, how GIS helps them be more efficient, meet their mission, serve their customers, to be more sustainable, and to grow and prosper for their employees and for people around the world. For more detail, your students could read and reflect upon 
this article in Forbes written about how big data helps retailers like Starbucks pick store locations. A related mapping application in the Cool Maps Gallery allows you to filter stores by the average income in neighborhoods in San Francisco, California, and to buffer the most effective distance for a mobile coupon message to potential customers. If you are interested in analyzing patterns of other businesses, the locations of thousands of businesses are included in the ESRI online products Business Analyst, Business Analyst Online, and Community Analyst. How might you use these maps and resources in your own teaching? And now if you'll excuse me... Ah, look at that. It's a, it's a GIS Day mug to boot. Thanks.